What is this operation? Pakistan can splice such a thick broken gear shaft with a Yungang. This repair process is really unique. It is obviously not cost effective to replace a new gear shaft of this size. So the owner is going to let the master splice it. This way he can save nearly 10 times the cost. However, he thought that the processing would definitely process the section. In order to avoid the repaired length being too short, the original length data must be recorded first. In this way, the appropriate compensation space can be calculated. For this kind of fracture surface with a large bevel angle, the master can only level it by continuous cutting to create a good environment for subsequent splicing. This is why the master needs to measure in the early stage. After all, continuous cutting will shorten its length. After the master's very meticulous strength, the axis of the section needs to be drilled. Only in this way can the Yuangang docking solution be realized. Obviously, the thicker the exterior, the higher the docking strength is required. As for the entire aperture, the inner hole cutter needs to be continuously expanded. In this way, the Yuangang uses for splicing can be thicker to ensure that the gear shaft will not break again. When the hole diameter is exactly half of the shaft diameter, Fu also found a high hardness avermetal material. Considering that the avermetal needs to be directly embedded in the hole, the next step is to compare the processed hole diameter. The avermetal with errors is cut and reduced to ensure that the surface is flat and smooth. The data of the other party cannot have any errors. The amount of ore will definitely affect the concentricity. After the master quickly cuts the end face flat, it can be connected with the flower sword end of the gear shaft. The avermetal end face can fit the bottom of the hole. Because the tail of the selected avermetal also has a step, the excess part also needs to be cut and removed to prepare for the subsequent splicing of the gear end. After the outer diameter of the remaining end is processed to meet the requirements, if the avermetal can be embedded in the gear end, Fu also needs to process the fracture surface. There is no need to keep the part of the flower sword end bevel leveling. The main task is to ensure the flatness of the cross section. After simply removing the remaining scraps on the end face, now we need to cut the outer diameter fixed by the avermetal. Constantly change the drill bit of the number to open the hole and adjust the hole diameter with the help of the inner hole cutter. Although this repair is to process the hole position, often the simple data is behind it. Only in this way can the gear shaft be tightly connected. In the gear, they don't have a high-end hydraulic press. The strength of each hammer is controlled just right. The length of the body is exactly the same as the original factory. The gap in the middle is to make up for the thickness of the end face cutting. Then use high-hardness, high-quality welding rods to cross-weld the gap to fill the height of the welding bar close to the appearance of the shaft. The rough surface will also affect the use of the gear shaft. Fu will combine the appearance around the welding bar with a lathe tool for more detailed modification until the surface reaches the state of increasing the amount of light. This simply completes the repair of the gear shaft. What do you think of such a gear shaft?